I became the jazz video guy in March of 2006. I've been posting videos on my YouTube channel since then. There's over 2,000 videos on there. Many people have seen them from all over the world. Many people leave comments. And not all my comments are positive. Now, as a writer, as a playwright, as a filmmaker, I'm used to negative comments. I'm used to criticism. I'm used to bad reviews. That comes with the territory. But some of the comments I receive go beyond the criticism of the work. They go into racism, anti-Semitism. I've received a, a number of comments that started out, Dear Nigger Loving Kike. Well, that's kind of a bad way to say it because I do love African-American people. I had an African-American wife, and I am a Jew. Kike is not a nice way to say it, but uh, so that one I found interesting. Another guy uh, said that I was pimping Sonny Rollins. Wow, I don't know where that came from. I put up a lot of Sonny Rollins videos because I worked with him. He's an interesting guy, I love his music. Um, there may be a mistaken illusion that uh, this channel is uh, a source of great revenue. It's not. I, I make a couple hundred bucks a month from this channel. Uh, and certainly the posting of the videos and accessing the content and producing the content for the most part, uh, that does not uh, equal the cost of it by any stretch of the imagination. I don't do this only for the money. It's nice to get that money, but I do this because I love the music. Always have, always will. It's my contribution. I'm happy to like share it and let people see these videos. And I'm happy to produce them as well. Now, I recently received a comment that uh, the uh, user subsequently took down. Here it is. He says, fuck you for politicizing jazz. Well, jazz is a political act in itself. I would have to say that uh, Sonny Rollins' Freedom Suite, Max Roach Freedom Now, uh, Mingus, uh, Fables of Fall Best. There's been a number of uh, jazz recordings uh, directly uh, addressing political issues, but just uh, people uh, expressing themselves uh, in a very free way. I think that's a very political act, very positive one. Then he goes on to say, blaming anyone but the musicians for their early deaths is idiotic. Now watch the video, please, because I didn't blame anything. I made a comment that drove this guy crazy. The comment was, uh, I was, this video talks about uh, uh, Mulgrew Miller, Michael Brecker, and uh, John Coltrane, three people that left us much too soon. And I made a comment about how, you know, there were these people in the world, they seem to disappear too quickly, but the, the real scumbags of the world just seem to live forever, like that scum-sucking pig fucker Donald Trump. Now, I made that video in 2012 long before we ever dreamed that Mr. Trump would be president. But I'm from New York. I know Donald Trump. He's a con man. He's not a nice guy. This user, Larry Smith, was obviously very offended by that. You know, I try to leave politics out of my channel, but here it is. Uh, and this guy totally flipped out. So much so that uh, Find Jim Jones' Kool-Aid recipe, Premac, because the pug, pig fucker is going to win in 2020. Look forward to news of your suicide, which is your jazz future. Wow, this guy wants to see me dead. Okay, I have my detractors. Uh, I don't mean to offend anyone, but I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. Won't say anything more about that. However, I do have a lot of... Uh, ideas and feelings about issues of our time. And I make films relating to that. And I'm working on a film right now called They Will Not Replace Us, about anti-immigrant and anti-Semitism in the United States. If you'd like to check it out, here's a link. Uh, I won't go into detail about the film, but I think it's the most important and challenging thing I've ever done. Uh, it's occupying a lot of my time right now. I'm trying to raise money for it. I still do some jazz stuff, but right now the focus of my work is social justice documentaries. I cannot just sit by the sidelines and, and watch what's happening. I have to use my creativity, my skills as a filmmaker, my ability to reach people through social media to do something. So if you can, check it out.